Today's video is brought to us by Magtech Ammunition. Whether I'm shooting rifle or pistol, if I'm on the range training, Magtech Ammunition is along for the ride. So gents, we've got two more drills before we're done with our morning session and we'll break for lunch, okay? So these next two drills, this next one's gonna take us a while to go through because we've got a lot of ready positions to cover. We've got three ready positions. So my belief is very simple. Again, I'm training for an unknowable event. I don't know what type of event I can expect. If I knew, I wouldn't go, right? The probability was so high that I could anticipate what kind of bad things were gonna happen, then I shouldn't be going. Now, we're training for that unknown, which means we gotta do a lot. We gotta cover a lot of bases. The ready positions are such that I don't know what type of fight I'm gonna be in. I need to have good working knowledge of all the ready positions and then let the situation dictate which one I use, right? I tell the story about on target, I went through all three different positions, all three different readies in a single room. One room, I went through all three of them. Started off at contact as I went through the door as a number one man going through the door. As soon as I went through the door, cleared my sector, I had an unknown. I popped into a high ready to go ahead and manage the unknown. As soon as I got the high, as soon as I got the unknown dealt with and I started to prosecute the rest of the room, I moved into a low ready position as I did that. Right, so in a single room, I went through all three ready positions, and here's the thing, it wasn't even something that went through my brain. It was just, it was just how, I, I was me reading the situation and reacting to the situation. Okay, so it's important that you develop them to a semi-decent level of skill so that you have them kind of like as a go-to. All right, so the first one is the one that everybody knows, the low ready. I love the low ready, great position, use it a lot. However, here's the thing. All right, most of us are um, most of us are here in this training environment working from a what I like to call you're cheating yourself, right? So at this distance, a lot of times people are having to depress the muzzle very lightly. Okay, they're depressing the muzzle very light, like. So when I'm up on target and I'm depressing my muzzle, I'm about right here, right? So I'm not having to tra traverse a lot of distance and that seems like that's the right thing to do oh you should do that okay well here's the reality first of all if you identified a threat you wouldn't be at the ready position you'd already be pointing at the target so i'm at the ready position why why am i at the ready because you can maintain it for a long time if you're walking around good point i'm walking around doing what looking looking, yes. looking for what targets all right okay see that right there i'm in hunt mode. I'm not in shoot mode or kill mode. I'm in hunt mode. When I'm in hunt mode, what's the most important thing that I maintain? Visibility. Vision. Yep. There you go. Vision, visibility, access. If my weapon system obscures my view and I can't pick up on a target indicator, am I helping or hurting myself? Hurting. Right? So here's the rule that I tell people. You can be the best trained, be the most badass, work for the best unit in the world. But on the battlefield, a lot of times fights are decided based on who saw who first. It's that simple, right? I have plenty of friends that I've buried that were shot or blown up by people that are, they're not trained, they're not equipped well, they meet none of the mission requirements that we have because they saw them first. That's it, that's all it was. So when that comes into the equation, if I'm doing anything that includes my view, I'm not helping myself. Here's the other thing. In training, do we train for the best case or do we train for the worst case? Train for the worst case. So the worst case would be I'm at a severely depressed low ready having to travel a lot of distance, right? That's the worst case. That's what I should be training for. Because in reality, I don't know exactly where that muzzle is going to be. It, it's going to fluctuate as I move through my terrain, my environment. But I do know that if I'm training, I'm always training from the worst case scenario, I am a better, I'm better prepared for the unknown. Okay? So that's the kind of mentality that I want you to take on board. I'm training for the unknown. I don't know what it's going to be, but I do know that in the low ready, it implies I'm in the hunt mode. But the only other time that I'd be in the low ready is if I'm holding on a known threat already. I shot the guy to the ground. Now I'm holding on him waiting for backup. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. All right, so we're gonna work through the low ready drill and we're gonna work through it progressing from the drill that we just did. All right, so here's how this is gonna work. You're gonna be at a severe depressed low ready. I'm gonna give you the up command. I'm gonna elevate the gun back to the dot. 
right? From there, you're gonna confirm your sight. From there, safety goes off. From there, finger goes on the trigger. I'm gonna give everybody time to do that, and then I'll start the countdown. Three, two, one, right? As soon as you fire the shot, finger's gonna, as soon as you see the dot, back on the target, finger's gonna go straight. Then I'm gonna give you the command off. On the command off, you're gonna come off target, safety goes back on, you're back at the low ready, we start the next drill. Okay, so it'll look something like this. All right, so here I am in a good ready position. On the command up, I'm gonna elevate the gun. I'm gonna see my dot. Once I see my dot, select fire, touch the trigger, then I wait for the count. Three, two, one. Off. Do it again. Up. That's my dot. Three, two, one. Move to the five yard line. We're gonna start a little dry fire drill just to get familiar with the ready. Then we'll go right into live fire. Shooters, unload and clear, please. Unload and clear. So I'm gonna give you a two minute drill to practice coming from the low ready, going through these steps on your own. All right. Think about your stance, think about your mount, sights, safety, trigger. Go through this drill on your own. Shooters, ready? Three, two, one, go. Practice on your own. Don't be in a rush. Everything done as flawlessly as you can. All right, cease fire. Go ahead, lock the actions open for me. Go ahead, let them hang. All right, so a couple things, just observations again. When I ask you to work through this dry fire, this is your opportunity to execute flawless repetition, right? Flawless. Take your time, do them right, because again, you are a byproduct of your training. That includes your dry fire. Now, the second observation, when we're mounting the gun, I didn't cover this and I should have. I want, I know where my tar I know what my target is, right? I know it's the black dot. So when I'm moving my rifle or my handgun, I'm moving right to the point of impact, or in this case, to my point of aim to get the point of impact, right? I look at where I want the dot to go, I move it to that spot. Be very disciplined about that. Don't settle for anything less. Don't come up a little bit and then make a correction. It needs to go right there every time, okay? All right, we're gonna move into live fire. Shooters, go ahead, load and make ready. All right, here we go, shooters, come to that low ready position. Go ahead, depress that muzzle nice and low. Work harder, not easier. Shooters, ready, up. Three, two, one. Off. Safety goes back on. Ready, up. Three, two, one. Off. Stay on target till I give you the off. Back to the low ready. Up. Three, two, one. Stay on target. Don't come off so easily. Ready, up, three, two, one. Still be on target, still be on target. Off, ready, up, three, two, one. Off, good, double check the safeties, let them hang. All right, much better. Shooters, let's step back to the seven yard line. Don't make it any harder on yourself than it already is. What I mean by that is some of you are rolling the rifle down, rolling it down. So that means that not only do you have to correct for elevation, but now windage. You now have to correct for windage to bring it up. Work one variable only, elevate only. Keep it simple, all right? Second, still see some of you that are gophering over your sights to look at the shot. I get it, right? You wanna see your work. You wanna know that you're doing right. But here's the problem. You're also training yourself to do wrong. So here, eventually you should get to the point where you can call your shot. And you know it's a hit because you saw the dot the moment the round went off, right? That shot that went low, I saw the dot there the moment that the shot broke. I knew it was already low without even having to look down and see it. You may not be there now, but if you train yourself to start looking for that sight, you'd be surprised how quickly you could pick up shot calling. 
which is like an elusive, elusive skill that everybody says, oh, you have to expend millions of rounds to be able to get there. Some people, because they're idiots, would need to do that. Other people, because they're training, don't. See the difference? All right. Okay, let's try it. Seven yard line. Here we go, shooters. Assuming good shooting stance. Come to that low ready position. Stand by. Up. Three, two, one. Ready, up. Three, two, one. Off. Ready, up. Three, two, one. Good, reload if you have to. Off. Nice. Ready. Up. I apologize. Oh, okay. Everybody started shooting, so I didn't want to try to talk over it. Here we go. Ready. Up. Three, two, one. Off. All right, good job. Double check the safeties, let them hang. Okay, 10. All right, here we go. Listen, let me tell you what I loved about that last one because I was like getting all excited watching you guys. First of all, with authority. You guys were snapping into that mount and then it was, sto it was, it was stoic. It was nice and tense. And then those first two or three rounds were awesome from everybody that I watched, right? But then you got to the fourth and fifth shot and you kind of like started to zone out. I get it, right? That same level of intensity and aggression that you had for the first two or three, I need you to have for all five. Okay, so at this yard line, I want to see that level of aggression and intensity for all the shots that you're going to fire. Snap into that out, be ready, good follow through, and then come down on my command. Here we go, shooters. Solid shooting stance, low ready position, stand by. Up. Three, two, one. Off. Ready, up, three, two, one, off, nice, ready, up, three, two, one, off, ready, up, three, two, one, off, last one, stay, st stay hard here, ready, up, three, two, off. Nice. Let them hang. Outstanding job on those. That's what I want to see. The type of energy that you needed to actually draw from to do that is the energy that you need every time. Okay? Every time. All right, go down, tape your misses only. Meet me at the 15. Pop quiz. No joking. That 15, that last five rounds that you shot at the 10. You guys did a really good job, everybody across the board, right? Um, but it required a lot of effort. Like you had to think about all that stuff, stay hard, stay focused, really tight. That's the type of mentality that you need to have all the time, right? Anytime you're shooting, whether it's a rifle, handgun, shotgun, that level of intensity, that energy that you're using, that's the key. So you gotta draw on it, like flipping the switch and you gotta be able to maintain it. It, it can't have an automatic dimmer that just dims on you. It's gotta stay super bright the entire time. All right, so the 15 yard line, we're gonna do the pop quiz from the low ready. I want you to do the same thing you just did at the 10, do it at the five. Shooters, low ready position. Stand by, up, three, two, one, off. Ready, up, three, two, one, off. Ready, Three, two, one, off. Ready, up. Three, two, one, off. Ready, up. Three, two, one, off. All right, double check the safeties, let them hang. Fantastic. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. 80%, no more than one miss. So on the last drill, who got 80% or better? One, two, three, four. Okay, good. 